High Level just released their new Workflow AI feature. And in today's video, I wanted to show you what can Workflow AI do, what can Workflow AI not do, and most importantly, how can you get free access to Workflow AI until the end of the year? So check this out. Once you're in your high level sub account, you'll want to go into the automation section and you'll see your workflows. So for now, we'll just go into this folder right here with my nurture uh, kind of snapshot templates. So we'll go into the nurture emails right here. And then once you're in the workflow builder, you'll see this new purple button down in the bottom left corner. Once you click on that, this is workflow AI. And you can see it still says that it's in beta right here. And it basically has two different main features. So you can either describe an existing workflow like the one that we're looking at right now, or you can help have it help you build a workflow from scratch with assist with building. And I jumped into this workflow specifically because I wanted to try out the describe this workflow feature. And once you push the button, you can see it starts analyzing pretty much immediately. And so now we've got the result already. So what, that was like two seconds. This workflow is designed to send a series of educational emails to contact with a specific tag, either nurture or new lead. So that is correct. And yes, this is a longer nurture sequence. So that all so far is correct. The start trigger are these two tags, nurture and new lead. And then we've got the wait step of 21.25 days before the next one is sent. So that's correct between each email is that wait step. And then it's saying there's a total of 12 emails. So I haven't counted these emails myself, but uh, I believe it. And yes, the last email is number 12. Uh, so everything like that is correct so far. It's saying also that it's pre-configured with templates. So we do have templates here as well. Uh, so yeah, all of that's correct. And then allow re-entry is on. So if we go into settings, allow re-entry is on indeed as well. So uh, it told us exactly what it's doing. It's told us exactly how it's built. Um, I do like this feature a lot. I do think it can help people learn how to read high level because if you describe these workflows, whether it's workflows you built yourself, whether it's workflows you got from a snapshot or whether it's workflows um, that you got from the uh, recipe section within high level right here, you can plug these in and have workflow AI describe them for you and finally understand these workflows. And so learning how to speak high level and how to speak workflows is kind of like learning a new language. So if you ever have to learn Spanish or Italian or whatever language it might be, it's hard at first, but once you know it, it's an extremely valuable skill to have. And so learning how to speak and read high level, learning how to speak and read high level workflow language is an extremely powerful skill to have. And I think Workflow AI and what we just saw and what we just did can uh, help you learn and speak high level and understand these workflows. So give it a shot. And if you have any questions, comment them down below. And so you don't have to pay for Workflow AI. It is part of the AI employee and you don't have to pay for it right now. Let me specify that. So it's part of the AI employee, voice AI, conversation, AI, funnel AI, content AI, reviews AI and workflow AI. And so it's pay, uh, it's usually 0 0.02 uh, cents per request. But if you're on the unlimited plan, the $97 a month unlimited uses plan, then you can have unlimited usage of all of these AI features. And high level is currently in the season of AI, okay? It's not Christmas is season of AI where but this does look a lot like Christmas and so if you want free unlimited usage of the AI employee and all these features right here until the end of the year then all you have to do is turn on season of AI for that specific sub account so now I'm in the sub account you can click on season of AI and you can click here to opt in for AI employee now and then until the 31st of December AI employee and all the features that I just showed you are completely for free for you including workflow AI and so if you want to give me a little bit of bonus completely for free it doesn't cost you anything extra then you can use my referral code Johnny the Nomad in the agency view just put punch in Johnny the Nomad hit save and then uh, I'll get uh, an affiliate commission that uh, for any future AI employee that's installed in your agency I'll get a little bonus and as a thank you for you using my referral code I'll actually also send you my main snapshot completely for free because yes workflow AI is awesome but um, if you have a main snapshot like this and you have a solid foundation of an expert build workflows, uh, like in, for invoicing and checkout pages, when an invoice is sent, when it's read, when it's uh, received, for calendar confirmation reminders, this 
is better than Workflow AI. And I wanted to get to that conclusion at the end. Um, but if you want access to this entire snapshot um, completely for free, just for using my referral code right here, then just use the code, send me an email, and I'll give you access to my snapshot completely for free and all of these folders right here. And obviously you can use my uh, general high level affiliate link as well. Uh, that's usually who gets access to this snapshot. And uh, you can also join my free community right down below. So check out Season of AI, use my referral code and activate it in the sub account and you'll get my snapshot. Now that we're back in the sub account, we can open up Workflow AI again. And I just wanted to see how it describes this massive workflow here because it does have, you know, a start that's relatively easy, but then it does get a little bit more complicated down here. And so we can see it is seeing the trigger correctly that it's a form called uh, the status update form. The initial action then is a 30 second wait, which is correct. And then um, a note is added, which is correct as well. And then there's the different if else conditions right here. And you can see, okay, it does say, hey, we're adding some notes and tags. We're updating the opportunity. Uh, we're sending email and SMS, and then we've got a dead end. So depending on, on how big the workflow is, Workflow AI can be better or, or not as good because you can see there's a lot of action going on down here and describing the workflow works at the initial top and then it did get a lot like updating the opportunity stages and all that good stuff down here as well but it just loses a little bit of focus because there's so much going on and so this is part of my main snapshot so again if you want to uh, use that referral code and I'll send it over to you just send me an email. So that's the describe workflow feature. If we want to move out of here, we can either X out of it and close it or we can download it. Let's try and see what downloading it does right here. Uh, let's open this up and this pretty much just opens up a little text window where we um, yeah, have everything that Workflow AI told us in the um, chat window. We now have it here as well. Going back into high level, we can not only uh, download the chat trans transcription, but we can also just clear the chat and X out of it. And then we're ba brought back to the initial screen with assisting with building or describing the workflow. And so next I wanna try out the other feature called assisting with building. And we want to describe what we kind of want to build, or we can ask it questions like, what is a trigger? What is an action step? Because that's the main two things within a with the high levels workflow builder. We have triggers at the top, we have action steps at the bottom. And so if you're completely new to high level workflows and you want a complete beginner's tutorial, then check out this video on my channel. I posted it three months ago. It's performing pretty well. It was the ultimate go have level workflow tutorial for beginners. And during that video, I pretty much explained what are triggers, what are action steps, how do we use them, how many can we use, all that good stuff. So check that out if you want. But back to Workflow AI, we can see in an automation, a trigger is an event or a condition that initiates the workflow. And so you can read through the rest right here and you can see, okay, it's suggesting some, some triggers. Um, that's all pretty good. Uh, so it can answer questions as simple as that, like what's a trigger, what's an action step, but let's actually tell it to do something for us. More specifically, we're gonna ask it to help us build a missed call text back workflow. And once we hit enter here, we can see what it comes up with. And so it's saying to create a missed call text back workflow, you can use uh, this trigger, call status trigger. And so it would be cool if we could add it right from here. We can't, unfortunately. Uh, we do, once we scroll down, we can click here on these add a notes, uh, select position and add action to, uh, to, to that position. You can see it's kind of blinking. So we could add a note right here uh, and say like missed, uh, call text back or whatever uh, note you would want to add and that would show up in the CRM uh, for that contact that goes in here. So we'll hit save here. Um, it's suggesting us to add a wait step. Again, we can add that wait step here now. We could add a wait of let's say one minute or uh, something maybe like two or three minutes uh, to make it seem more human. Wait three minutes to make it seem more human. You don't have to do that, but I've seen people do that in their missed call text back. And so again, I wish it did that up here for each action step instead of down at the bottom, uh, but it's a solid start. And I guess you just kind of have to know now, okay, trigger. So now we can click here on trigger and we can type in call status, which is correct. And we can say 
activates an outbound inbound call event so configure it to react specifically to a missed call status okay so again i wish it would add that trigger automatically but we, i know how to create this obviously so we could say uh, call status here now we can now select either no answer i guess that would be the closest to missed itself but i usually and it's not, it doesn't say it again over here i would say busy is a missed call i would say canceled is a missed call I would say voicemail is a missed call and I would trigger missed call text back for all of those call status right there. So once you have that set up, we can hit save for the trigger and um, then it's telling us to have an if else condition to check if the call was missed. Use an if else condition to check if the call was missed. This will help in triggering the next set of actions only for missed calls. Hmm. I would honestly not do this, so I'm not very happy with that response right there. Uh, I would not create an if else. I've seen people create an if else so that if somebody actually called like two, three times in a row, you only want to send that missed call text back the first time and not the second or the third time they call in a row. And so I've seen people create an if else and add a tag so that if they called within the last hour, they go down the... Um, the the branch where it doesn't trigger and send the the missed call text back message again but if they called within the la uh you know if they could, did a missed call monday a missed call tuesday a missed call thursday then it would still trigger it because the wait step in between and having that tag is only an hour so i've seen people create if else conditions like that but i don't love this idea right here to be honest so uh, bad workflow AI and you can give feedback. So I'll go ahead and hit thumbs down uh, and they'll work on it and they'll improve that. So workflow AI in that sense, it can be helpful. I like the describing feature. I think the suggestions here uh, otherwise are good, like sending an SMS. You know, I guess you just need to know now that you have to type in send SMS here. And then here is like, hey, sorry, we missed your call. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Is there anything else we can answer via text? A message like that usually goes right in there. And um, then we've got optional steps like adding the note updating the contact record, another wait step. So I have seen people do nurture steps right here, which I think is super smart. So definitely add a wait step, second SMS, wait step, third SMS, and then test and activate it. And so if you do a nurture like that, make sure that you have stop on response on so that if they reply to that nurture, it does stop this workflow and they don't get the second, third, fourth uh, nurture SMS. And um, so yeah, we can add this step again. We, it's, it's highlighting kind of where we should add it, but you can see it's adding uh, multiple places where we could um, add this task. And I do like this task suggestion. So you could say like, hey, follow up with lead and you could assign it to a specific uh, user like my video editor, CJ, shout out to you, CJ. And um, then we could say, hey, this is due in a certain amount of dates uh, or t days. And um, so, yeah, I do think it had some good suggestions, like all these action steps. I do agree with them. I do, again, think that if else condition, I don't quite understand why they added that and I have that in here because I'm sure many people want to know how to build a missed call text back in high level. So overall, I think this is a solid foundation to start with. I think uh, that first feature that we checked out with describing the workflow did a really great job and is great for beginners. I think assist with building has a lot of potential as well, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. And um, I love that they're working on this. I'm excited to see what can happen with Workflow AI within the next year. But for now, if you can get your hands onto professionally built snapshots like this one, and you can have human expert build snapshots within high levels and workflows, then try to get that. And again, Again, if you want free access to mine, I can't even believe I'm saying this right now because I'm looking to actually sell it first for 97, then 297, then 497, and I'm definitely know that this is worth 497, 400, 500 bucks because I've spent a lot of money on snapshots from other businesses myself, and I know other businesses sell this for 500 dollars. Um, so if you want it for free, just use my referral code Johnny the Nomad. And if you watch this video after Christmas and this whole season of AI promotion is over, then just become my my affiliate and I'll give you free access to my snapshot, my premium community, my premium courses, and everything that I can with the click of a button to help you make the most out of high level.
So thank you for watching this high-level AI tutorial. I'm going to add all of these high-level AI tutorials into one playlist into my uh, community area. Uh, so definitely check out my free community down below as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.